Top of the day to you. This is September 2022. Some of our most informative friends are back with us to kick off this month going into the season of peace and love. And I want to say, Your Grace, Your Grace, thank you for coming back. Thank We're you, ready thank to start off this us. month uh, to those audiences that were here the last time. You know I received a gift. And the gift is with me. They're going to autograph it for me today. But, and I have lots of questions about it, but we only have an hour. We only have 59 minutes. How are you? Um, it's a pleasure to be back here with you, Miss Davis, and with the bishops. Thank you. And I'm ready for Super September, and our topic <laughs> is love. So I'm just enjoying the love that's flowing through the room right Amen. now. Amen. We got to move it from this room down that street. And then over to those big, tall buildings yes. going toward Dallas, Texas. What do you have for us today, Your Grace? Thank you so much. What an honor to have you well, here. Well, thank you for having me here. And uh, thank you, Pastor Charles, for being here as well. The message we want to bring to the world is the same. And it's the message of love. Christ said, love ye one another. It's a message that we received in the beginning, in the Garden of Eden itself. That message will not change, has not changed, and will never change. <laughs> the message we want the whole world to come to knowing and understanding, believing, and even practicing is that we... Now, that's the optimum word. That's correct. Practicing. practicing. Yes. Yes. It's in practice that we fail. Okay. Okay. And that's where we want to pick up. Love isn't complicated. Yes, it really is not. But we, we make it. Except you put it into practice, mm -hmm. you will never understand the power, the efficacy of love. Even in a human relationship between a man and a woman, a father and a son, a mother and a child, it's the same. If the mom does not put the love she has for the family, for the kids in practice, okay. it's elusive. We keep talking about love. Do we do it? All God asked us to do from the very beginning is to put it into practice. He said to Adam, do this. Practice, practice. this love. When practice. you obey God, you, sh you show obedience in practical terms. You reveal your love for him. You are reverence for him. You are honor for him mm. by practicing his words. Love thy neighbor. It should be easy. Your neighbor does not have what to eat. Please, someone read Luke chapter 3. Verse 11, if you have it, please. It's the practical demonstration of love that Christ asked us to do. He asked all the disciples to do this, and they did it. And they did it. Yes. That's the beauty of it. And they did it. So what stops us from doing it? Whether, like you said, it's two counties or two states or two nations or two families, mm -hmm. we ought to be able to come together in the love of one God. Yes. And practice that one love. And that's all the Father asks us. This is what Christ asks us to do. Please read if you see it. So he answered and said unto them, He that had two coats, let him impart to him that had none. Yes. Right. And he that had meat, mm -hmm. let him do likewise. Yes. If you have two coats, God says, impart one to the person that has none. Are we doing that? And it's not complicated. If you have two houses, he says, give one to the one that has none. That's the word of God. And the disciples of Christ put this in actual practice. Please read. Acts of Apostles. Chapter 4, verses 32. If you say it. You can read it. Uh, you can help us, Pastor, if you would, please. Read Acts chapter 2, verse 44. Acts, Pap. And for those of you that call and ask me, what am I writing down? I'm writing down <laughs> scriptures <laughs> so Acts, that in uh, my quiet time I can yeah. read. You that. read Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 44. All uh, right, Acts 2 and 44. Yes. And that reads, and all that believed were together uh -huh. and had all things common. That's correct. You hear that? One more verse. Go to 45. Mm-hmm. 
45 reads, and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men mm -hmm. as every man had need. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not complicated. Practice love. When you practice love, God comes into you. He begins to do what you never could imagine love could do. Love is the most powerful of all weapons. We went to churches to yeah. worship God. But no one really has taught us that God is love. That the true power of God is found in love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real true love. We haven't done this. That's why we say the kingdom of God and it remains elusive in our minds. Where is it? How do we get there? But because you have not done this, please read if you see yours. Acts 4.32. Acts 4.32. Yeah, okay, she Acts had read Acts 2.44 and 45. Right, okay. Acts 4.32. Yes. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Yes. Neither said any of them that earth of the things which he possessed was his own, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but they had all things common. See? It's not complicated. Simon Peter sold what he had. Matthew sold what he had. Paul Apostle sold what he had. And all the rest of all believers, they sold all they have and put it in one spot. And it was given to each man as he had need. Can you That's imagine that happening? <laughs> and how we would possibly fight over it. Exactly. But you know the situation we have in the world today is uh, they call it the ancient Christianity. The mm -hmm. ancient Christianity. Yeah, and oh, why yeah. they call it that is because, you know, in the early Christianity, there was no diversions. There were no ideologies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There were no confusion in the mix. But within the interlude between that time and now, a lot of water has gone under the bridge. <laughs> because that's, our Lord that's Jesus, a good one. Yes, our Lord Jesus Christ told the disciples in John chapter 13, verse 34, 35, he said, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you. Yes. He said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Yes. But the unfortunate predicament we have in the world today is, in, La in Islamabad, in Pakistan, a Muslim, I saw a billboard, and it said, Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that all Muslims are brothers. So he asked the man, say, okay, if all Muslims are brothers, what about Christian? He <laughs> said, well, um, that if your brother leaves Islamic faith, you have a right to kill him. You come to no. the Hindus. Yes, they, I'm telling you the fact. They, you come to the Hindus now, they're calculating love on the basis of religion, yes. on the basis of tribe, on the basis of race, family. on the basis of tongue, mm -hmm. family. Even in families, the love is still fragmented. So the real love our Lord Jesus Christ came to demonstrate on the cross, yes. man has shunted it aside. Yes. And yes. if we need to move forward and abide in this love of Christ, mm -hmm. one thing we must do is we Go must back. put aside religion. Yes. But we now, must remove you church. Us that. I mean, yes. the series that we're going through right now mm -hmm. with the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star of Cross was it, the Bible, you said that more than one time, and I'm telling you something, it's re it is resonating with the audiences. Yes. The Bible says nothing about love your religion. It yes. says yes. Love, love thy, thy brother, neighbor. Thy neighbor. Yes. Love thy neighbor. Yes. Neighbor as you love yourself. Consider now, if all the religions of the world, like His Grace has just mentioned, whether it be Hindus, Muslims, Christians, all the different faiths, Suppose right now we put aside all our different doctrines mm -hmm. all over the whole world and we say we will do only one thing. Love thy neighbor. Love the Lord thy God. You will see the world problems will begin to simply disappear. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Now God has presented something to us right yes. now that would give us that opportunity. Yes. Global warming. Exactly. And global warming is because of what? Uh, it's because we didn't treat God's earth well. We didn't even, <laughs> we didn't, we didn't even treat. The, we didn't even love ourselves, you know. Because if well. we love ourselves, we will not abuse the environment. We didn't treat the earth well. We didn't That's treat the right. earth well. We did not. Mm -hmm. And because of that, now we're having crisis of unimaginable proportions. Says you know that the Lord God says He will destroy yes. all of those that destroy the earth. 
Revelation 11, 15 through 18. That he will destroy them that destroy the earth. Why would God say he will destroy those who destroy the earth? Because you are living on the earth, abusing the earth. Mm -hmm. You show no love to the earth. No love to one another. It is important for us to know that any life that is without love, void of love, is dead already. Is dead already. Yes. <laughs> Not dying. Exactly. Not dying. Read First John. And I want to add something Please go to ahead. that, Bishop. Because let's go a little bit deeper than this because wow. people use the word love very loosely. Yes. I want to go to First Corinthians. Uh-oh. It'll come back. Um, I can read it. First for Corinthians I want to thirteen. Go to eh? First Corinthians thirteen, four and five. Sure. And let's talk about it because the church really have an issue with love. Yes. They say they love, mm -hmm. but a lot of people sit up in church like sour lemons in their mouth. <laughs> we go to church, won't speak to one another. Mm -hmm. We go to church. The Bible told us to be concerned, Yahweh Shah. Yeah. To be concerned about the widows. Sure. Mm -hmm. To take care of them. Yes. And the church do not do that. Exactly. And so let me read you this. It said, love is patient. Yes. We are not patient with people anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't have patience with them. We, we don't pour into people like we used to. We don't minister to people's hearts and to their needs like we used to. The love of many will wax cold, and it has done that because we are in the last days. That is correct. It said that love is kind. We're yes. not kind to people anymore. It's true. It starts from the head, mm -hmm. and it should flow down. It should start from our president mm -hmm. and flow down mm -hmm. to the senators. But should it, start at, should it start with the president, or should it start with the people that believe? I, I think we put too much emphasis on politicians. Yeah. That's why I'm not a politician. <laughs> but but we're in place of power, teaching and directing us, and they yet have to follow the laws of God as That's well. That's true. But they are, and every president has had a faith leader yeah, up but, until the current one. Yeah, but, but all of the others were invited, let's say, to the White House or to the embassies or, or to the palaces of, of the world. And we got away from that. Something. What happened yes. to that? But if you must remember, what happened to that? Doc, if you must remember, politics and God are strange bedfellows. If you expect a politician, because the definition of politics is a game that is played with everything, in politics there's no rule. Fair is foul, and foul is fair. The first foundation of love begins with the family. That's why when God was creating, he created, that's the only place he gave instruction. Mm -hmm. Honor your father and your mother. Yes. Reason being yes. that it is in the family that the seed of love is planted. Mm -hmm. Most people who meet in the political terrain, in the business terrain, in administrative terrain, had already either been tainted by yes. the experience they had in the family, or they were molded in a good family. Yes. But the love, when it starts from the home, yes. like she said, love is kind. Yes. When a father and a mother imparts that spirit to the child, yes. you see that no matter how much the society tries to corrupt the child, the child will sort of, that spirit will come forth. And then it goes back to the, the ministers in the temple of love. Mm. Because when you call ministers, whether pastors, bishops, evangelists, archbishop, or whatever, they are ministers in the temple of love. Yes. There was a reference that Pastor Charles made earlier when Archbishop Emmanuel was talking about the ministers in the temple forgetting their responsibility, yes. neglecting their duty to be the advocates yes. and the teachers of this right. Now, when it starts from that, the politicians, why do they bring ministers of religion, whether the Christianity, Islam, or Buddhism, or Hindu, they believe that those understand that territory. <laughs> they should be able to guide them. That's why they call them spiritual advisors. Yes. Many have come across in different parts of the world even when they are coming to address us, their spiritual advisor will be seated by their side, mm -hmm. telling you that in the game of politics is a jungle, <sighs> but they need somebody to tell them right. When the church, yeah. the temples, the religious bodies learn to minister the truth as contained in the scriptures, then love will move forward. But, but the problem, the reason why we don't have it now is because prophecy has to come forward. We are getting ready to, to come up on the mark of the beast. 
So they're not going to be in the White House trying to tell them the right way because they took and prayer out of schools. They they even trying to stop them from just even praying period in the schools. And so what we have to do, we can't focus on what the president is not doing. As the wording say, it take a village. So mm -hmm. us that know, because the Bible say that he, he that know what to do right and do it not to him is a sin. Mm -hmm. So us that know to perform love, us that know to walk and let our lives be lined up and live according to the word of God, we are supposed to do that regardless of the denomination, yes. regardless of the title and the call, because when mm -hmm. judgment comes, there will not be bishops, there will not be missionaries, there will not be, we're going to all stand That's a great, God. that's a great mm -hmm. point. That's a great point. <laughs> yeah. And every knee's going to bow yes. and confess that he is Lord. Yes. Please let me finish reading this. Sure. It says that love does not envy. Sure. Mm -hmm. It said it does not boast. It is not proud. Mm -hmm. It does not dishonor others. Yes. See, that's where that love, that's why Jesus told us to love, because it's not going to dishonor others. That's true. It said that it is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. Yes. The Bible told us to be angry, but sin not. Okay. Yes. It keeps no record of wrongs. Have you noticed this world keep records of wrongs? You go to jail, you go to prison, it's on record. <laughs> <laughs> it is never forgettable. And yeah. our work economy, our world, our nation keep records of wrongs. Yes. Whatever happened to, once you repent, there should be, because Jesus told us that when we repent, he throw our stuff in the sea of forgiveness and remember it no more. Yes. But we, as people, we hold, hold things over folks' heads. Well, that, that brings up a good yes. question yes. for all three of you. Is there any reference to love and brotherhood in the scriptures? Absolutely. Because I'm a media person. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and we can't believe we have right now over 2,000 media outlets. Mm -hmm. And they bring in an investor, A, B, C, D, and E, and they put in their money, and then they give the public their ideas. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when are we going to stop following the media? Because I think our problem is we don't go to the Bible enough to get the answers. Can you, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, Pastor Charles, please read for us First Peter chapter 2. First Peter 2. Verse First nine. Peter chapter 2, verse 17. Okay. All right, yeah. First Peter. Yeah. I'm going to start bringing my Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of my phone. Okay, First Peter 2, yes. and what's the verse? Verse 17. 17, 17 said, honor all men. Mm -hmm. It didn't say pastors, bishops, right. not only all men. missionary, but all men. That's correct. Love the brotherhood. You hear that? Fear God, mm -hmm. honor the king. That's correct. And see, this is the problem. Yeah, we don't we have that. lost the fear of God, not just in the church, but even in the White House, the nation, our politicians, do not fear God. This is why we're living in a destructive world that's going down here. Well, we're yes, talking but, about love. But let us look at it. Look at love. Y you made a mention we are in the end of time. Yes. Matthew 24 said, because iniquity will abound, mm -hmm. the love of many shall wax cold. So we are living in a peculiar season and time. And the time we find ourselves, it's a clearing call. I'm sorry, I, might, I know why I'm holding the grudge, let me use that word now, Ooh. against the ministers, including <laughs> myself. I'm holding the grudge even against myself. <laughs> you know why I hold the grudge, Doc? Because we know that the politician, eh, his orientation is not for the common good. It's an interest. Party interest overrides personal need. So in their vocation, they are trained for it. That's why they call it a game. And in that game, they play the interest is the winner takes all. You know? But now we're looking at the human family and the time we find ourselves. I've come across a lot of youths in America, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa. They told me categorically that the Bible is not true, that Jesus Christ is not real, that Moses was an imagination. You understand the position? In Europe today, there was a documentary I was watching yesterday that they are going back to the pagan origin. The mega origin. origin, yeah, in Europe. And the mega churches are becoming discotheques, strip clubs, Ooh. nightclubs. You know the reason? Because they say there's a lot of manipulation 
in the world. Some are arguing that the Bible used to be 80 books, that where are the 14 they removed, they called apocryphal, so many reasons they are giving. Others will tell you this is what the pastor did, like what happened some time ago, a pastor of a church impregnated the wife of his, one of his members. And as the young man came to confront him from the pulpit, he shot him five times in the chest. You know, all these things now, they create so much bad blood. So the question is, why did we have it wrong? What's it Let us come back to the reality mm -hmm. and bring mm -hmm. ourselves back. You know, like Christ said, this is my commandment, John chapter 15, Great verse 12, so. <laughs> that you love one another, yes. even yes. as I have, have loved, loved you. you. That is demonstrative love. That whether kindness, humility, penitence, patience, giving, sharing, enduring, forgiving, we are supposed to be doers of yes. the work. Like you quoted earlier, James chapter 4, verse 17, that if you know to do good and you fail to do it to you, it is a great sin because you know the truth. There are people, it is our responsibility, like this forerunner we are talking today. Right, we right. are talking not just to Christians. We are talking to humanity. Yes. Right. The entire American audience and beyond. That look, love is not about going to church. No. It's but, about putting the teachings of Christ. Sorry, my dear beloved sister. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's about putting the teachings of Christ into practice. Let the world see. Because all the religions I have encountered acknowledge one thing. That our Lord Jesus Christ is the only teacher, the only master, yes. the only Lord. Yes. That's, why, that's where I have the great confidence. And leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the founder of Brotherhood of the Cross and yes. Star, told us that the Bible is the constitution book of God for man. You understand it? That we must live according to the tenets and the teachings in the Bible, not in the basis yes. of religion. Like we are now, we are not talking church, we are not talking religion. We are talking human family. Nobody is even asking, uh, Dr. Davis, where do you worship? Pastor Charles, where no. do you worship? Uh, Archbishop Emmanuel, where do you worship? No. We are talking Christ here. The light, the and way, and the truth. And how we, we are supposed to love one another. Yes. 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 All of the one another. Yes. It triggered something in me. Triggered? I, I, I wasn't trying to be rude. No, okay. I, I, my dear, I, was, I wasn't even take, taking offense, please. Yes, Don't ahead. misunderstand. It, it triggered yeah? something in me when he said that because... I have a lot of people, when we try to invite folks to come to, to the house of God, mm -hmm. they don't want to come because they say, well, y'all doing what we doing. Mm -hmm. Ain't no change. Mm -hmm. Why? Come? I can stay at home and watch television, yeah. you know, church on television. Mm -hmm. And it's because they're not feeling the love in the church yes. like it is supposed to be demonstrated. Mm -hmm. When he was talking about what took place with the lady and the pastor, See, mm. God is uh. going to judge us leaders, me, you, you, yes. even more. Than the because people. we know, and we are not trying to lead everybody the holiness way like it should be with mm. the love of God. Yes. Jesus had one message, and he never veered off. He never changed from his message. And that was repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes. He yeah. demonstrated yeah. all through his walk of life from the age of 13 up until he went to the cross. He demonstrated love by healing, yes. performing miracles, yes. spending time with the children. That's right. And they called him the devil. Yes. They called him Beelzebub. That's true. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees was against him, mm -hmm. but he yet demonstrated his love. He said, it don't matter what you call me, what I appear to you to be, yes. but I'm going to let my light so shine yes. because my heavenly father have put this inside of me. Mm -hmm. And we are supposed to be like the same way because we were made from him. Sure. Everybody is not going to say yes, Lord. No. Everybody no. is not going to possess the love. <laughs> But we that do are supposed to convince as many as we can because love is contamination. Yes. Mm -hmm. We want it to be more contagious. Yes. And if you get it to be more contagious, mm -hmm. I think of, of kids and how they emulate what you do. Yeah. Yes. yes. It's not what I said. Mm -mm. It's what I do. What it's I do. what I do. Action. Action word. Yes. So Action speaks louder than what yes. Example That's is better exactly than right. precept. Yes. And well, you know, it said in Galatians 3 verse 27, Say, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Putting on Christ means that it's supposed to be a way of life. Mm -hmm. You know, when the Christians, 
Christ never came to set up a religion like you know. Mm -hmm. But what made people call the people Christians? <laughs> because of their lifestyle. Yes. In Antioch in Pisidia, Acts chapter 11, verse 26 or so, they were living such a pious life, having everything common, exuding mm -hmm. such, you know, there was no segregation, even when there was issue of sharing of food. They gathered, it's okay, seven men, please make sure nobody lacks. That's Whether right. you're poor or rich, middle class, low class, everybody must yes. have their need. So when people say, who are these peculiar people? Well, say, don't you know? They're the followers of that fisherman. Mm -hmm. They are Christians. They were not called Christians because they were professing a religion. No. Mm -hmm. They were called Christians because mm -hmm. they were living a way of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like you rightly said, the ministers in the temple of love stand the greatest judgment because mm -hmm. back uh -huh. home, I use an example in Nigeria. A time came when the popular teaching became, my God is not a poor God. <laughs> yes, and when it came now, every youth sees it that the only mark that God has blessed you is that you have wealth. And anyhow you make it, as long as you have money and when you come, mm -hmm. the pastor gives you the front row in the church and you're praised and pampered and petted. So the others don't see righteousness again as a way of life. They don't see that God can lift up in his own season. Everybody wants to arrive to yes. appear that God has blessed him. Mm -hmm. But like you posited, which is true, when the teachers start teaching the right message, mm -hmm. even in the midst of a confusion of the end time, mm -hmm then the children will follow because the world is ready. They are hungry. They are desperate. Yes. You're, you're Situation right about is that. forcing it. The world is ready. And before we started the show today, I found out something new, different about you. You have another title that I did not know about. <laughs> I did not know that you had a global position with the Brotherhood. Yes. Can you kindly explain that to us? Well, I was by the grace of God appointed at the season as the official spokesman for Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, mm -hmm. which I finished that office, then moved on on the field of evangelism, and I am sent to the United States of America on evangelical mission mm -hmm. to bring the message of brotherhood, the message of love, and the message of a new kingdom of God on earth to my brothers and sisters in America that we must come together and embrace this truth. So all 50 states are under your yes. proper domain, yes. so to speak, and the oceans that surround them. Everything, <laughs> even beyond the 50 <laughs> states. Beyond the 50 states. But yes. how do you tackle something like that? How do you be, oh my gosh. I noticed one of the things we love about your group is you talk world religions. Yes. In the United States, we have a habit of just talking about our religion. Yes. Everybody, let's go back to what she just okay. read for us in First Peter, and this is the core message of Christ again. Mm -hmm. In First Peter, you read it says, "Honor all, all men." Honor all men. That's the entire humanity. Mm -hmm. Christ honored even those that kill him, mm -hmm. those that call him Beelzebub, like you said. He mm -hmm. still honored them. Mm -hmm. Those that hated him, mm -hmm. he still honored them. Bishop, right here, what you just said. Yes. Do you remember when Jesus was on the cross? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just tying in with what you said. Sure. Honor all men. Yes, he said, Father, forgive, forgive them. them. That's for correct. They know no, not, not what, what they, they do. do. He honored them on the cross. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nails in his hand. Yes. And he's honoring them. <laughs> That's right. Woo! Yes. Now I'm getting chills. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see him. <laughs> he gives a practical instruction. And Christ is a practical leader, mm -hmm. he leads by example. What he teaches, he does it. Yes. He himself. Yeah. He does. He does. That's yeah. why today in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, we have that blessing of having a practical leader. There's nothing like having a leader that shows you what to do mm -hmm. by doing it himself. Yes. Right. It's different from saying, do as I, I say. Do, as I say, but not as I do. <laughs> not as I do. <laughs> like the person who said the people don't drink and they caught him in bibing cough. He said, look, I'm a human being. I'm not Jesus. <laughs> So, it says, honor all men, mm -hmm. love the brotherhood. Why does Christ ask us to honor all men? Because he created all men. Wow. Why does he ask us in First yeah. Peter chapter okay. 2? Okay. To love the brotherhood. He knew that the father is the owner of brotherhood. Mm -hmm. And even today, as he comes into the world, he reveals to us that the name of his kingdom is Brother of the Cross. Of the cross. Yeah. Of the cross. 
understand? Brotherhood really is the sum total of everything that God created. Yes. That means Pastor Charles, mm -hmm. Dr. Davis, mm -hmm. himself, myself, and all that are listening throughout the entire world. Exactly. Even so, the fishes, animals, exactly. everything. So we have to love all. Yeah, and the whales and the lobsters, the herring. Yes. Everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. The spiders but you know, and the but you know, snakes. You know, <laughs> the <guy laughs> only he made them all yeah. for his purposes. And they're, they're senior to us. They're elder to men <laughs> in the creation order. <laughs> so, and then he said to us, fear God. Mm -hmm. There's a reason yes. why he created the snake mm -hmm. and the spiders and everything else. We may not like it. I don't like snakes. I don't like them either. As a person. Spiders even. Exactly. Yeah. So, but there and are the reasons for everything. And the roaches. Oh my God. Everything in creation has its purpose. Uh, yes. Really. And somewhere down the line, hopefully, we're going to a deeper teachings of the languages and the things of each creation before God. Mm -hmm. They all are his children. Yes. Are you following? Yes. And they have a purpose. And even yeah, everything yeah. has that's, a purpose. That's, that's the main thing. They yes. do have a purpose. But, but, you know, before but, before we run out of time, I have to say this. Yes. At this sessions, we have to wonder why we have so much fun. Well, is the spirit of God the giving spirit. us the fun? The spirit of God that yes. gives the us spirit. laughter. And, and, uh, that is correct. And then uh, and how your love and yes. I found my love. Yeah. Bishop bought his love. Yes. Bishop bought his love. And when that all twines together, mm -hmm. that's why we can, the joy of the Lord is our strength. That that's is, why yes. we can enjoy. Yes. And he said, Doc, he said, and the Lord is that spirit. Yes. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. There's liberty. You know, there's something, when Dr. Ch when we were talking, uh, Pastor Charles, we were talking about the creation, he said we don't like roaches, and <laughs> some people don't like even vultures, and you know. Mm. But the irony of it is they don't like vultures, but they like prawns. They like who? Prawns. Prawns? Yeah, okay. prawns and uh, what do you call it, periwinkles and so on. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the scavengers of the deep, the vultures of the ocean. <laughs> So but, we, but we have to have them because God gave them a purpose. Ah, yes. Yeah, gave them for yeah them to balance the system yeah. and for to us, create a please. harmony, you know. Yes. If you would, First uh, John chapter three. If if you love me, keep my commandments. First uh, John. First John chapter three. First John. Him, sir. Uh, you can read. First John. Okay, got it. John. Go ahead, sir. Okay, First John chapter three verse. Verse fourteen. Verse fourteen, it hmm. says them. Um, we know that we have passed from death unto life mm -hmm. because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother mm -hmm. abideth in, in death. death. Mm -hmm. It's very serious. Yeah, it's very serious. Very serious. Very serious. So party wow. spirit, division, breaking, scattering leads to death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even in the family, when a man and a woman, when the two of them are in love, everything works good in the family. Perfectly. Yeah. There's joy, there's peace, there's progress. And God comes in their midst and blesses them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when one begins to go this way, the other goes, goes the other way. you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> You're great. Sorry to interrupt. You know I'm laughing. <laughs> I remember the other episode we were yes. talking about the forgiveness therapy. Mm-hmm. Yes, we that did because talk of about forgiveness therapy. Because it was of a very good show. Yes. If you missed that show, we <laughs> see, uh, and I did of, not know it existed <laughs> until Bishop Joe brought it to us. Yes, forgiveness therapy. therapy. Mm -hmm. That they found and a lot of times that, that, we wanted folks to repent to us. And we and get, <laughs> when we, if we would repent and get ourselves right, yeah. the truth of it is. Everything else would run smooth. Yes. Yeah, but a lot know, of time it's us, but we doing this. Mm -hmm. but, but you know, and Pastor, we need to do this. Yeah, exactly. Pastor Charles, do you know the the, 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 the Pastor Charles? Look in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Pastor Charles, do you know the greatest irony of it? The oncologist said that he found out that the major cancer cases he was treating, mm -hmm. he got tired of chemical administration, chemotherapy, radiation, and so on, and he decided to go into deeper meditation and research. And he found out that 90% or more of the cancer cases we are caused by grudges held yes. in the mind. It poisons the system. Yes. And by poisoning the system, it releases negative enzymes and toxins, you know, that grow the cancer. So they decided to do forgiveness therapy at the point, even to hypnotize and do psychotherapy. And by the time they realized the cause of the offense yes. and chose to forgive, he said the moment they started forgiving, they started healing. Yes. You see the power that of is, love in that healing. That is so yes. amazing. It is. Yes. It's the power of God itself. God right. is inside, and He is that love. And yeah. that that hate that you have in has just it's become poison. explosive. Yeah, yes. poison. Yes, becomes yes, it disease in the system. But yes. as they started loving, 
it's a charity. It's got love heals. Yes. Love mm. renews. That's what it does. Love recreates. Mm -hmm. You know, everywhere you find love. Assuming as we came here now, I look at Pastor Charles. What is this lady doing here? I look at you. We will not have a fun. No. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be trying to hedge yes. here and there. Mm -hmm. But when the spirit is free and there's no restriction, the person listening to you, because one thing don't know, people don't know is, as people are hearing this word now, they are getting healings. Yes, they are. Thank They're you for saying liberated. that. Yes. Thank you so much for saying that because the uh, the comments I need to chronicle some of them because the show we always have a Bible, or we have Scripture. So what would happen if families uh, that would when somebody dies we read the Bible, mm -hmm. but up until then we never pick up the Bible in a family session. Think about that. Yeah, because now they recognize. Well, you know, that, you know. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you, you know, you, let me share this real quick point. We talked about love, charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to bring up my two kids, Brandon and Chloe, that I raised them in church and I taught them to love people and treat folks right because I said, you never know your faith yes. with God. Mm -hmm. yes. You never know your faith. True, true. You being ugly, you being nasty, you carrying hatred, you never know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I told them, just do unto others as you want done unto yourself. And my kids, my son, would get picked on, be mistreated. And then I would get mad at him when he wouldn't hit back. <laughs> when, the, when the boys hit him, he said, but mama, you told, you told me. Us. That's right. And I'm like, okay. I thought about, okay, do as I say, but not as I <laughs> And that's right. That's the parents do that. Unless you catch yourself. And, yes. and Pastor, if I'll tell you sincerely, don't discourage him. Mm, he's doing great. Right. There's a great power. Remember, yes. creation is silent. Destruction. This is not is a nice. discouragement. You know, it, uh, we don't want our kids bullied. No, yes, can, I know. Even, I, I know. Even, yeah. even a child that knows the art of silence, the bully, it, it needs sympathy. Yeah. The bully comes out of insecurity. Yes. Mm-hmm. Out of psychological handicap, you understand? Out of environment they come from. And because of that, they express their sentiments. And you know, I, I used to love the word of Martin Luther King Jr. That you know that an eye for an eye leaves everybody blind. <laughs> that, that's true. But I wanted to also add that he was at home one time getting stuff together. And I said, Bernie, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to give this to my friend. What friend? The board is picking on you. <laughs> wow. But what he was demonstrating it's was love. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Love. And that's a great expression. Yes. Of love. Yes. And I was just like, mm -hmm. okay, what I'm teaching is paying out for Lord Jesus, really. <laughs> you know, sometimes we want to say. say, he's hearing the word. Yes. And the yes. spirit is already in him, mm -hmm. activated. Yes. So allow it. Yes. If you see someone that makes noise, that it's a bully, mm -hmm. he's nothing in the spirit. At all. It's zero. Mm -hmm. It's empty. Mm -hmm. If you see one that is quiet, is humble, mm -hmm. read Matthew 12 from verse 17 through 19 and see right now. Right now. Matthew yes. 12. Matthew 12. If you see one that is quiet, is silent, you smack him on the right, he turns the other side. He's very strong. It doesn't mean Matthew you're weak. Matthew 12 in what verse, sir? 17 to 19. 17 yeah. to 19. It mm -hmm. says that it might be fulfilled, mm -hmm. which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, yes. saying, yes. Behold, mm -hmm. my servant whom I have chosen, That's correct. my beloved, mm -hmm. in whom my soul is well pleased. Mm -hmm. I will put my spirit upon him, That's right. and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles. Yes. He shall not strive. Did you hear that? Nor cry. He shall Did you hear that? Strive. He shall not strive. See, that spirit is already <laughs> upon your son. Yes. yes. And it's active. <laughs> Neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets. No Simple. man shall hear his voice in the streets. This is the spirit of Christ. Wow. The spirit wow. of love in action. Mm -hmm. Continue. A little bit more to 21. 21 says, a bruised weed. Shall, shall not he not break? Uh -huh. mm. And smoke and flesh shall not he not quench? Yes. Mm -hmm. Till the sin for judgment unto victory. victory. And in his name, one more. And in his, wow. and his name, shall and in his name, the Gentiles trust. 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 That's correct. So you're building the Christ yes. in that young man. That's correct. You're molding it tomorrow a symbol of light yes. to the world. Mm -hmm. Because that culture you're, you're building in him, that Christ culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
what God has used you to do yes. is to plant the seed of Christ yes. in the heart of that son. That is correct. And then with the word you're giving him every day, you're yes. watering that, that seed of Christ. Yes. <laughs> he's growing into a Christ entity. Yes. Mm -hmm. And as he's growing into that, at the end of the day, you see that in the long run, that same bully will come back to him. I've read mm -hmm. many stories mm -hmm. on the yes. earth who too. were brilliant. Yes. And the bullies in the long run, in later part of life, came back to them to seek for a way of life because a bully needs prayer. Yes. He doesn't need beating. So the moral of the story that I was sharing with you is that love not only is should be between adults, yes. but children yes. as well. Yes. yes. And especially among our boys. Yes. yes. They need to see yes. and love, love yes. that it's okay to cry. It's mm -hmm. okay to mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the final thing I want to add before our show ends is that at your conversations, can you bring up a scripture? The bishop keeps throwing out a scripture. Yes. <laughs> and practice what, no, uh, practice what we're doing here. We have set a tone. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We definitely have made an inroad because we're in homes. That's correct. And you can air the show at any time. Yes. I think it airs at 2 a.m. somewhere because mm -hmm. we're on four different networks. Yes. But what happens if a sisters, you got four sisters, and they sit around and they're arguing about how to take care of mama. Well, let's throw a scripture in there. Mm -hmm. yes. We have this all of the time. Yes. Can we stop talking about the cowboys long enough to throw a scripture in? I mean, we got to. I, I just feel like if you got to love, you got to love them all the time. That that's correct. not Sunday morning twelve yes. or correct. Sunday morning at eleven a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's the irony of life. A mother can take care of four siblings, but the four siblings find it difficult to take care of a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a lack of love. <laughs> you know what? That Absolutely. is absolute. Yes. Oh, you just hit a big button because I was saying yes. this lady had seven, it's either seven or nine children, mm -hmm. and they're all still living. So she, the mother dies. I can't tell you the storm, not before she was buried, mm -hmm. uh, bef I mean, not after the funeral, before they were doing this and doing that. And I just could not wrap my head about it. When you know a family and the children cannot take care of one little part of life because mm -hmm. death is part of life. Yes. Yes. Because of and the they're still in disarray, Bishop. But Doc, it's because, because me, myself, and I, my <laughs> wife, my family, read, my uh, husband. Yeah. For that family, mm -hmm. sorry, before we go, read Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6. Ephesians. He is with another script. Yeah, he, he has them in embedded in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Ephesians 6, 1 to 4. Talking about the children. That is correct. Uh -oh. We have to love our parents, honor them, love them, so that it will be well with us and our days, okay. even our days. I'm having some okay, let, let me read it sure, here. Okay. I've got it open, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Say, children, obey your parents in the Lord, yes. for yes. this is right. Yes. Honor thy father and mother, yes. which yes. is the first commandment with promise. With a promise. With a promise. Yes. That it may be well with thee, mm -hmm. and thou mayest live long on the earth. But then say a thing about divorced parents, or parents that walked off and left me. Well, you see, divorce is coming. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just yeah. defining what... You know, Does that say my divorced parents? Yes. No, parent is parent. You yes, can yes. never have a, a, one thing. With this you can have a wife, yes, and divorce and marry another, but you can never have another father, and you can never have another mother. That's true. So those are those. Marriage is a contract. Yeah. Parent is a covenant. Mm. So there's a big difference. Say that again, please. Marriage is a contract. Yes. Mm -hmm. Parenting is a covenant. That's correct. <laughs> That's why even in the DNA, it retraces you back to your father and yes. your mother. Yes. That's why God said it, honor thy father and thy, and thy mother, mother, that your days may be, be long. long. That is, longevity yes. is attached to That's the correct. honor and love for parents. Yes. It's a promise. It's a permanent. Mm -hmm. It's a promise. Standing yes. on the promises yes. of God. Yes. You yeah. said something too just a minute ago, and I was thinking about Miss Davis, how I have seven girls and three boys. Yes. And these seven girls stayed into it with each other. Yes. And I would, they would say, but mama, she, you know, mama, I can't stand because she did such and such. And I would say, both of y'all stop. I said, God said to love. I don't care what you, but mama, you don't understand. I said, if you got that strong of a problem with her, I said, go pray on her. Mm -hmm. 
But mama, I don't want to pray. But that's what the word say. <laughs> I mean, you can't fist fight it and go work it out because that leads to other things. Mm-hmm. So what I would always tell them, go pray on it. Go pray on your sister. Go pray on your brother. And they would say, mama, you always talk about praying. I say, but prayer works. changes things. It works. It works. And it, it teaches us when we're praying for each other, yes. it's teaching us a, a symbol of love. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because if you're taking the time to pray for your brother and pray for your sister and forgetting about your own needs, we don't really realize what a big global love that really is. Sure. Because we don't want to, a lot of times we are selfish and we, I don't want to pray for the other. I'm too busy trying to tell God what I need. But now I need my sister and my brother to make it over here because if they can make it, and I can demonstrate the love that they need when my time comes. Mm-hmm. God is going to provide that for me at the right time mm-hmm. because He's a God that always shows up on time. He's never late. I may be the whether well, you think He's I late think, or not. Yes, I think only just to help you. Why scripture to back up what you're telling the kids? Yes. James five verse sixteen. Sure. Say, Pull it up. confess ye one to another yes. and pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. That the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous one availeth much. Yes. There's a healing on the wings of prayer and a renewal. I like that, on the wings of prayer. Yes. Yes. We have been talking about love with Archbishop Emmanuel and Archbishop Joe. And our good friend from North Texas came in to say hello to us. She's going to stay with me for the second show. Yes. But in any event, practice love. And I really, really would like to see you practice what we do here. Yes. Uh, pick up a Bible. Put the Bible in front of the table. Yes. I don't care where you are, the breakfast club, and have somebody just read a scripture. Because what it does, it makes you think. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And at the same time, you find yourself laughing. Yes. Mm-hmm. And smiling about, and your spirits <laughs> are lifted. <laughs> Angelo stepped out, but I'm watching the clock. I know my time is up. <laughs> and we yes. always have a great time talking about love with the archbishops yeah. and Pastor Charles. Going to end this show. I've got Steve Creer coming a little, a little while, the microbiologist. We've been talking with him for over 20 years. You're great. You're wonderful. You really are the greatest audience in the world. Thank you. Yes. Goodbye. Bye-bye. 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 Uh, <laughs> That was just so good. But if we could get people to do that. You know, television, uh, we do what people do on television. We have our kids wear their pants down because of rappers. Yes. Because my dad didn't wear his pants down in my house. That's true. And they they start these trends. And and, and I didn't realize, probably until about 10 years into television, when I was on PAX TV, I simply asked uh, women to go and get a mammogram one time at Cedar Hill College. Mm-hmm. It was just a casual announcement. And I said, I will be there. Mm-hmm. It scared me to death when I got there and I saw the line. So I, I'm saying that to say what you have started us doing here, yes. getting people to yes. quote scripture, read the Bible at all settings. Put it back in your life. Yeah, all of the time. It doesn't have to be in a studio. It doesn't have to be at the table. It doesn't have to be Sunday morning at mm-hmm. 11 o'clock. Yeah. You guys said the word of God is a strong tower. Yes. Mm-hmm. The righteous run into it and it's safe. Yes. You know how a tower protects a city? Mm-hmm. Yes. The word of God is a tower, a very strong one. It protects. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it protects. Yeah, it protects. And wherever you go, you know, there's one mystery in life. Beat your child, do everything for your child, they forget it overnight. But that word planted in them, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. long after the father and mother is gone, there's one thing that stands, my father told me, my mother told me, to the grave, that word follows, and they carry it from generation to generation. And you know what happens with that? It comes in clearer as you get older. Yes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he should go. Absolutely. And he won't deport. And a lot of times when we're training them, Mm -hmm. we thinking they should be getting it right then. Mm -mm. No, it has to manifest. Yes. It grows like a tree. The word is like like a tree. You know, like someone, I was just reading it here now, like you're talking about keeping the Bible everywhere. He said, blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, yes. nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight 
is in the law of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And his law doth he meditate day and night. He yes. said, See the reward. He said, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters yes. that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Yes. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Shall prosper. You see the wonderful part of it. Whatever yes. that person doeth, because the nourishment of the word mm -hmm. is always there. Mm -hmm. The leaves will we, bloom, <coughs> it will flower, yes. it will fruit. Mm -hmm. You, you okay. notice, I'm sorry, but Pastor ahead, Charles. Sir. You notice slowly, we, like she mentioned earlier, we have taken the word of God out of our lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. We take it out of the family. In fact, right now, hardly you hear the word of God in the church. No, exactly. Even in the <laughs> church. They're not preaching hell right it's now. It's motivation. And they need to be. Because it's yeah. Thomas. Yes. It's motivation. <laughs> <laughs> how yes. to make money, how to build up. So, so it's all about prosperity. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and guess what? And this is really serious. In 1968, <clears throat> this is true. You can Google it on your app. God gave a dream to a Norwegian lady. It's a white lady, an old lady. In, in the year 1968, she had a dream. Mm -hmm. And she heard the voice of the father saying to her, the things I'm going to show you now, write them down. They're all going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. When you write them, give it to your pastor. You ready to go to another show, right? Go ahead. No, I'm laughing at because uh, he comes in and gives me five minutes, and we just <laughs> we, we close the show five minutes ago. So my timing is <laughs> off, pretty hard, so we really have another four minutes. So go ahead. <laughs> I think, I think, right. I think the, the God wanted the world to hear that testimony That's of right. Archbishop so Emmanuel. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And she said that she saw five waves of events coming into the world leading to the arrival and revelation of Christ and judgment. One, the gospel message that they received in the year 1968 will change. That the pastors will be preaching social gospels, <laughs> prosperity mm -hmm. gospel. This was given to her wow. in 1968. Wow. That she should write this and give to the pastor. God said to her, you will not live physically to see it, but the pastor will. Mm -hmm. And all of this is in the dream. That <clears throat> television in 1968, hardly we had TV at that time. Mm -hmm. That television will be everywhere in the hands, in the offices, in the cars of everybody. This is in 1968. It was hard to believe. You would not believe. I would not believe if I heard that in 1968. And then the third thing he said was that immigration, people from poor countries, she's from Norway, in Europe. Norway. That people from poor country will be trying to pour into Europe and all the uh, first world nations. And that these civilized nations will maltreat them very seriously. This is in 1968 when there was no immigration department. That's right, that sure wasn't. Worldwide. Mm -hmm. That they will be maltreated so severely, so badly, that this will be leading straight up to the judgment seat of Christ. And when you see this, that you know that it's about time for Christ to reveal himself in the clouds. Mm -hmm. When immigration breaks it, in Europe became a hot political mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. This pastor, still alive, he remembered what ah, dream was given in 1968. in 1968. He went to his Bible, pulled this dream that was handwritten, and brought it up, and now he posted on the Facebook for the whole world to see. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Amen. we Amen. are at that time. So, do what is good. What you're doing to your son is very good. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. The Father is there. And is the one leading. And that's the message we want the whole world to see. Love one another Mother. is the commandment of God. Finish. And once you do that, you are assured that life is yours. Because you've broken the barrier. You know what the, the God is using you to do for that, your child? You're removing him from the cage of yes. religion. Yes. To the environment of humanity yes. where he will grow as a full child of God. Exactly. Not mm -hmm. caged by mm -hmm. what narrow confines of human imagination, mm -hmm. but liberated by the Spirit of Christ. And on that note, our time really is up this time. <laughs> <laughs>
Petrangelo is back. Uh, we've had a marvelous conversation. Yes. I just enjoy you all so oh, much. Thank you. So stay with us. Steve Creel, the microbiologist, my friend of 25 years, will be coming up next. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Ah! <laughs>